Des yeux qui font baisser le mien Un rire qui se fait sur Once upon a time, there was a knight named José Daniel López Barriento who worked as an entertainer. He will go to parties of the wealthy with betting schemes. To keep them entertained, he needed them to make them believe they had a chance in defeating him. He needed to get results in his favor so he could have profits, but not on a large scale, so people will keep playing. So Barriento went with these two guys to ask them for the help in the next question. Which is more likely? Rolling a four real six with a single die, or a 24 roll double six with two dice? The guys to whom he has help were Fermat and Pascal. Fermat was a lawyer and mathematician who had the audacity, the great audacity, to write something like, and I quote, I have found a marvelous proof of the fact that there are no integer numbers x, y, and c, such that x to the power of n plus y to the power of n equals c to the power of n when n is bigger or equal to 3. But this margin is too narrow to reproduce it here." End quote. Pascal, on the other hand, was a French mathematician and physicist known as one of the first two inventors of the mechanical calculator, also known as the Pascaline. He was a pioneer of probability theory. These two had to exchange letters to solve the knight's problem. This could be seen as the first doctoral consulting done in history. That is why Fermat and Pascal were the first consulting actuaries of all time. Because of that, this theorem is so important we study it in college. To answer the previous question, which is more likely, rolling a 4 real 6 with a single die or a 24 roll double 6 with two dice, Barrientos traveled through time to 2021 in the middle of a pandemic to make use of Excel. Barrientos approached the problem dividing it in two cases. First, the case of getting a 6 with one die in four trials. We know the probability of winning is 1 over 6 given that there are 6 different outcomes in throwing a die and we only win if the thrown number is a 6. But it is easier to compute the probability of losing throughout the trials. So we use the probability of losing, which is 5 over 6, to the power of each trial, obtaining that way a geometric distribution through time. As we can see on the first trial, the probability of losing is 5 over 6 to the power of 1, then it is 5 over 6 to the power of 2, and so on. Analogously to how the probability was obtained with the initial complement in this case, the probability of winning is the complement of the probability of losing because of that, one minus set probability was performed in each throw. After four trials, the probability of winning is 51.77%, while the probability of losing is 48.23%, which gives Barrientos the peace of mind of winning in his entertainment games, but at the same time, his competitors have a chance to beat him. The second case that Barrientos approached was obtaining a 24 roll double six with two dice. In this case, we start with only one trial, computing the probability of losing by doing the difference between 1 and the multiplication of 1 over 6 multiplied by 1 over 6, which is the complement of winning because 1 over 6 multiplied by 1 over 6 is the probability of getting 6 in both dice in just one trial. So the probability of not getting a double 6 in one trial is 3536, which is the same as 1 minus 1 6 to the power of 2. The probability of losing in the next trials is 3536 to the power of n, n being the number of the trial. But we used a trick which consists in multiplying the same fraction with the previous probability of losing. And finally, to get the probability of winning, we just use the complement. On the last throw, the probability of losing is almost the same as the one of winning, being 50.86% and 49.14% respectively. After computing the probabilities for each case, it is clear that Barrientos should keep in mind that the best scenario for him is rolling a 4 wheel 6 with a single die, as he would win almost 52% of the time. We can say that it was a very good idea of Barrientos to travel throughout time. 
so he could use Excel and continue entertaining people in his own time, knowing he has the odds in his favor. Gracias por su atención, por su presencia y sobre todo por su paciencia.